Is it time for the UK to lead the international community in providing military assistance for the Syrian freedom fighters? Uh, well, I think we, we first should start by offering our condolences to the family yeah. of, uh, of Mary Colvin. I think uh, that's the first thing we should say. I think dealing with Syria will be very difficult for two reasons. Firstly, we have the obstacle of Russia and China and the UN Security Council. But let's not forget, Assad has a standing army of a quarter of a million of highly trained, loyal soldiers. Uh, and look, we can't go around being the world's policemen all the time. We've got defence cuts at the moment. We've, we've got defence cuts at the moment. We could have a problem in the Falklands, which is coming up, which I would argue for British interest is more important. However, however, there is a serious problem out there, but I think we'd better be careful about what comes next. Because, look, is Libya necessarily a better place now than it was under Gaddafi? We've got human rights abuses right across the board. Is Iraq necessarily a safer place? Is Egypt, with the Christian community, being persecuted? I think we should think very hard before we embark on any action, and I, for one, don't want to see one drop of British soldiers' blood spilt in Syria. There is more than one group that is uh, standing up yes. to Assad, but anybody but Assad should get our help. If we don't want to spill British blood or European blood or whatever, okay, let's go in and give them arms. They have several times, just as they did in Libya, they have asked us to go in. Nobody in Iraq. But look what's it. happened in Mogadishu. Look what happened in Mogadishu, where everyone had so many arms. You could go into a market in Mogadishu, and you could find a basket of rice, and for the same price, you could find a basket of bullets. You know, and you leave these arms, and then what happens as the decades go on? You know, you undermine a society, and you allow violence to get in, and you arm everyone to the teeth, and then what do you do? Who is ever going to hand those weapons back? You know, we cannot undermine Syria like this. I mean, All right. Do you want the last word? No, I don't think on. it's undermining, I think it's supporting. Well, and I think we know right. who's evil there and we know who we don't want to help. Very do, briefly, do, do we know who's evil and who's not? This is the problem. We've done this in Libya, we've made this mistake before, we've gone in, we've armed these rebels, they've overthrown Gaddafi, and now we find out that actually there's 140 tribes in Libya, all with scores to settle, all armed to the teeth, there's human rights abuses right across the board, and if we're not careful, the we human could, rights no, 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 abuses right. right. we could possibly all, end up no. with an no. Islamic no. fundamentalist state 250 miles off the, the coast of Syria. The human rights abuse under Assad has been...